Yes, I'm Mallory. I'm Laura. And these are your morning announcements for Wednesday, September 30th, 2015. Kate's Helping Kids first meeting of the year is today in room C104 at lunchtime. Make sure you're there by 1230. Everyone is welcomed. Remember that yearbooks are being sold in the cafeteria this week for $60. Anyone interested in joining Reach for the Top are invited to join us today for our first official meeting. The meeting will be held in room C7, Mr. Savoie's classroom, and starts at 1225. All students participating in visits to the classrooms for student vote will be meeting tomorrow at lunch in C120. If you are unable to attend, please see Ms. McAllister as soon as possible. Safe Space will be meeting today in Mrs. Skilder's class, C124 at lunch. Safe Space gives students the opportunity to be in a safe environment where they can be themselves and meet new people. Everyone is welcome. Any students interested in joining Prom Humanity can pick up an application at the main office. Applications are due this Friday. Any grade 11 students interested in becoming one of two grade 11 representatives for this year's Grab Without Borders Club can pick up an application from the office. Applications are due October 15th to Ms. LeBlanc. There will be a Red Cross response team meeting tomorrow at lunch in C-167. New members are welcome. A representative from Carleton University will be in the cafeteria at lunch on Friday, October 2nd. The Tattoo Group will meet today at lunch in the Teaching Theater, C-54. New members are welcome and invited to attend. The Black Cat Ambassador meeting is tomorrow at lunch. Everyone is welcome to check out what we're all about. The meeting will start at 12.30 in D107, Mrs. Wynott's room. The Do-It-Yourself Craft Club will hold its first meeting today at 12.30 in Mrs. Milne's room. All grade 12 students, it is denim day this Friday. Please be sure to wear as much denim as you can. The Interact Club meets on Thursdays at lunch in C125. Please pack a lunch and join us. There will be a meeting for the FHS Newspaper Club, the Black Cat Leader, today at 1230 in Mr. LaRue's room, C139. All interested students are welcome. And now on to Mrs. Diamond for a Terry Fox update. Good morning, FHS. Mrs. Diamond here. Today was supposed to be our awesome Terry Fox Day, but obviously we're not having it because of the weather. Um, but we're super excited. October 6th is our new date, and it's going to be sunny and bright and an awesome day. The leadership students have been working extremely hard on raising money, so we're hoping that that continues. Homeroom uh, teachers, we thank you so much for your patience and your support. We know there's been a lot of changes and a lot of disruptions, so we really appreciate it. Um, the 2.5K walk and the 5K run, um, you need a permission slip um, to be part of that. So you need your period two and period three teacher to sign it, and then you come down uh, during period two on October 6th. You can do a walk or a run, um, and then we come back in and we have water and fruit and granola, and um, there's gonna be lots of prizes, and it's a great way just to get active, but also um, be part of a school event. Um, we are super pumped for October 6th, so please help us uh, raise lots of money for Terry Fox and have an awesome FHS day. Thanks, Mrs. Diamond. Let's get excited, FHS. And now for some FHS sports announcements. The crosstown soccer rivalry between Fredericton High School and Leo Hayes High School Junior Varsity Girls continued yesterday with FHS emerging as three to nothing winners on goals by Maddie Mercer, Emily Owens, and Tori Hathaway. Keeper Christy Crabb had a clean sheet for FHS. Rachel Brewer was in the goal for Leo Hayes High School. The varsity girls soccer team also played a hard fought game against Leo Hayes but unfortunately lost by a score of 1-0. FHS varsity football team plays against KV at the Scotiabank Southfield tomorrow night at 7. Good luck, boys. Have a great day, FHS.